Yeah, hi everybody, and welcome to, the, to this brief addendum, let's call it this way. So, something that will be an integration of the two previous videos that I've just produced. So, what, you're, what you will be watching in these few minutes, I will not make it that long, because I'm on vacation, and I was not even supposed to do this trade to do this, but... To be honest, in after the last two videos that I have shown you, that I published, I was receiving even emails and contacts uh, while I was preparing my luggages for making my trip. Okay, so I had anyway, because also I like this to you know, show some other functions of my algorithm, share some screens and some information. So I had anyway on in the day of Tuesday uh, um, uh, evening and Friday, um, sorry, Thursday and Friday, uh, to, um, to keep open my platform, to keep open my algorithm, to explain it to some of you, uh, in, in private session, of course, and um, the result was that I couldn't avoid to notice that there were some behaviors changing in the markets exactly in those hours. So I was following them no matter what, even if I was preparing, you know, my bag to go. And so it was a kind of bit of being around and making anyway some predictions or some outlook in based on the very fresh data that were coming from the computations that I usually do with my expert advisor, UUFO. So I traded also on Friday, I called on um, uh, Thursday and Friday and of course I copied also my trades on a personal account, real account, but at the same time I produced also a continuation of the very same account that you saw in the previous two videos and which is you go on my channel and you give, an, give a look to these two videos before because they were anyway uh, representing the all the workflow and all the explanation of the strategy, the hedging strategy that I used and why, that now are uh, ending with the final result and performance of my portfolio that I will show you in a minute. So we were starting from this, we were ending here with this uh, graphic that of course, if you go in the video, you will see it uh, full screen with all the informations. And also with the bank, with the account that I used for this particular example. And as we see, this is the situation that you can easily check and compare. It's exactly the same, the same amount, the same performance, the same trades. Everything is exactly for you. I'm going a bit up and down, but I live some time. So you can stop and check by yourself if you want to go in detail each and every operation. See the stop losses that are not. The less we let the broker know, the better we trade. And, of course, uh, we were at this point. So what I did on uh, the Friday, so at the ending, at the, be between the day of Friday, here it was when I just arrived from the airport, and I took a, a statement on at this hour. Then I decided to close some trades and then to make another uh, statement at some hours after, and then I made a final uh, statement when the markets are closed. Today is Sunday, and so this is very recent. I made it an hour ago, uh, but so with the final balance of my account, uh, that it's always you can check, it's always the same. So let's proceed by grades. We were starting with this situation, and then I told you while I was observing my algorithm in this. Uh, in these very two last two days of the week, I started to notice uh, a, re, um, a retrace of the GBP Australian dollar. While in the week, in the weekly time frame, was anyway uh, projected as a um, weak GBP and a strong Australian dollar, so it was still in a sell mood for me. Okay, and after a big retracement, I decided to enter uh, at the sorting point because it was clear that it should have complete a move uh, short. Okay, so this is the first thing that I noticed with my algo. And the second one, I was noticing that from the Australian dollar as strong currency, 
of the week, the shift was going towards yen. Japanese yen started to take courage and strength in the market. Uh, and this determined in my algorithm uh, visualization of higher and positive values of Japanese yen against the majority of the currency pairs starting from GBP that I was already in short with uh, uh, Australian dollar, so kind of weak. And GBP Japanese yen were the first two to appear with the Japanese yen very strong and GBP very weak. So I decided, okay, let's see how Japanese yen behaves towards the other currency pairs. And by seeing the values, I noticed that the majority of them were weak, particularly weak against the Japanese yen. So I decided also to enter an edging trade considering Japanese yen. And let me show you here. So at the certain point after investing in GBPOD very strong because it was confirmed in that short direction towards sell. Uh, then I closed, of course, GBP Australian dollar because it was too much then in a uh, range of movement. And we were in the Friday, so I didn't want to leave my money in the market. I want to take them for then take them out. So I close all the GBP Australian dollar position, leaving just a few of them the most profitable that I would have anyway closed at the very last move of the Friday that I would have intended, but with some profit already gained and in my balance instead of being in my equity. And of course, as you can see also, I took the major trades that they were important with Australian dollar in sell against Japanese yen in buy. And this is the same for CAD, Euro, and uh, GBP and US dollar. Okay, so these were the last trades running in this hour. You can check the hours. Okay, some of them were fresh of the day, some of them were from the previous day. So you can also see there is a swap condition. So it means that I swing traded even in this case and also they traded. Okay, so just to make it brief, you can have a comparison after. Uh, here we have 28 total trades, then with some we doubled the trades, but we more than doubled the balance. And of course, I always invite you to read all these values that you already know very well, as I saw, because the most of you that are contacting me are analyzing especially these values and the profit factor. Here we have a profit factor that increased of more than 50% from 22 to 59. And um, then, what else? I got another uh, statement screenshot that I made a, a couple of hours later. As you see here, I closed also the other GBP Australian dollar position, taking just one. And I don't know why there was this stop loss anyway, but it was probably accidentally. But anyway, it was very far from the... Oh, probably I put this in the sense that I would like to leave it open for uh, the next week but at the end i decided to close everything so that stop loss was away it was anyway in a break-even position or with some profit uh, but then i decided of course to close the position but you can see that in the very last hours of the market the only positions that were meaning in uh, accordingly with my algorithm were the positions against the yen strong yen and we the all the other currencies and this is Again, a new update with some trades that were running. So with an equity, that were about 300%, okay? And a profit factor of 81 reached. Same consecutive losses, consecutive wins, and all the statistics is up to you to read them and give your interpretation. And uh, at the very end of the markets, then I closed all the positions. And of course, my... MetaTrader platform here. So I'm sorry if this is not the normally format or that I produce my videos, but I'm at, I am with a laptop, I'm on vacation, and so I have some limitations, but anyway, a little office is always with me, then when I would be back in my office, I would be even more operative and clean. But anyway, as you, as you may notice, uh, this is the final balance that I reached in, in this very account with uh, profit loss 
of, in this case, a profit, only a profit of 20,000 euros and 208. And this matches exactly the values that I have in this very last uh, screenshot of statement that I made where everything is closed. So the same balance, the same profit. And of course, let's look at the profit factor and the trades. This is the result of manual trading, but as you can guess, when we have to manually trade, we have to mentally predict an outlook. But how can we do that based on figures, based on price action, based on the oh, certain currency pairs that we think we have to trade them because they are the most liquid, the most volatile, whatever. We have to trade what in the market moves in that day slash days slash week. And we have to start trading after reading the markets on the Monday and then maybe Monday evening or afternoon, if it's the case, otherwise wait on the uh, Tuesday. And then uh, on uh, the Friday, we know we have any way already to have closed and we have to expect that probably in the middle of the week, there will be some shift in the major currencies to be strong or weak. So we had this shift from Australian dollar to Japanese yen but with some reverbs in the longer time frame, so weekly for as regard GBP Australian dollar. And you can check everything in your charts, in your MetaTrader. What I'm saying is just the week that has passed, the third week of August. And so I wanted also, you know, now that I am a bit relaxed with some days of vacation still to have, and of course I will anyway write me. If you have to write me, no problem, because I will anyway read in the evening your emails. And I thank you for your support and uh, for your words. A lot of you are having very good words for me and I thank you very much, Tam. I do appreciate your interest and passion. And um, I hope to have given another opportunity to evaluate how my algorithm can enhance positively the vision of the market and direct us only to the very currency pairs that for that day, if we want a day trading solution, we have to trade leaving all the rest to another day, another session, or whatever they will reveal their strength or the weak against, weakest, weakness against all the other currency pairs. This is the way professionals trade. So we have to align on them, but we must have something that reads the whole market, not only one chart. And with my solution, that it's uh, an in-market reading and an in-chart reading to combine it together, the analysis can be very sharp and detailed. And of course, we have always to be careful of certain actions of the market that occur at specific moments or events, or that can be uh, for us a signal to stay out of the markets. But at the same time, we have any way to have a vision, always, or have a vision not to trade because they are all balancing and at the moment none of them has revealed strength or weakness. Okay, so I hope that this brief integration of my previous video that shows the whole week of an account that then at the end we have to close, take the profit in our real bank account and make it as gain and then reinvest only the 10,000. So the, the starting uh, deposit this way, we can gain every week something more or less, depending on our ability to trade, on our exposure to risk and all this stuff. Uh, it's also true that uh, this way, trading without stop losses, manually, will have an impact on our broker that will know only our opening trades, but will know anything about the take profit, the stop loss. So their algorithms will not have this information. So they will, they cannot run against us. And the more with this situation, we can also understand how to properly hedge and what currency pairs to hedge. So I hope this gives a comprehensive uh, vision of the work that can be done with this with this uh, integration. And I thank you very much for watching, for watching and for subscribing my channel and for all your emails and comments. And um, I invite you to follow me also in the future. I wish you good time, good space, good vacation, good trades, all the best that can come to you. And 
let's have a new contact probably the moment I will be back in my office in Amsterdam and I will then perform maybe some other videos or some upgrades of my software okay so wishing you again a very good and peaceful time I say also bye